Okay, I'm going to call this meeting to order. Associated posters is basically um, it was for the yeah for the billboards and it, that that is actually for the the bike rally uh, the part the portion when we actually changed the posters for the bike rally that was one hundred and twenty four dollars and fifteen cents so this past month we've spent thirteen thousand nine twenty eight forty seven so that gives us a remaining balance of eight not counting the reserve but our remaining balance to work with is $18,977.83. Keep in mind, we still have a commitment to Comcast of $14,960.68. Our billboards, we still have a commitment of $18,200. Tony Angel Media, we still have a commitment of $4,000. The Smoky Mountain Theater, we still, I know Kenny and I have been working with that to get that invoice, but we still have $10,000 to pay on that. Uh, the Rumble, we still have 5640 to pay on that. 
the Franklin Main Street, that's the request that was just granted at last month's meeting for the Winter Wonderland. We've got that to pay at 3500 And then the last one was the Nantahala Hiking Club, which the board voted to give $500 to. So the total commitments thus far is $56,800.68. That's all I've got on that. Just kind of a briefing. What's going on this month? Yeah, just a comment. I mean, we're still anticipating about a hundred thousand dollars income. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's not as though you know this is in south. No, this is just where we're at at this point in time. Plus, we have about uh, another three thousand. We should have about right around ninety thousand in the reserve. Yes. About eighty. Yeah, right at ninety. Eighty-nine. Yeah. 89 yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so there is there is funding here. So. Any other questions? So don't, don't, get, don't, get panic. don't panic. This is just where we're at right now. And we're also a month behind. Yeah, there's no, a lag time. I always keep that in mind. The, the payments for July, um, don't, don't, or, uh, yeah, the July uh, income doesn't, doesn't actually hit us until. Uh, 15th of the month after so we got the we got July here and then um, our August payment we still got six days to wait for that so before that's, that's yes yeah. but it looks like we're making it I mean that twelve thousand one ninety nine of the numbers of, I believe it's a substantial increase over last mm -hmm. year uh, June yeah, we're in good looking back. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? We used to get a spreadsheet for comparisons. We're, we're working on, on I'm working on that because the old spreadsheet was done by calendar year where we actually the TDA works in a fiscal year. The finance officer wished to correct that, so we're working to make it so it fl fl flows more with the actual schedule we're on here as the board. Gotcha. And hopefully by our retreat it will yeah. happen. And then we can go over it. Moving on to the second committee report. Summary, you just gave us a brief on finance and budget. Did you have anything? That's all I've got on the finance and budget portion, but I did have um, an item for the policy and procedure. Moving on to the policy and procedure. I wanted um, Deb Heatherly, as we know, um, and Ms. Mason is coming up. Their term will expire December the 10th of 2012. Uh, Deb has expressed an interest in continuing on with the board. So I'd like to propose that tonight before the TDA board, if they're willing to make a recommendation to the town board um, for Deb Heatherly to continue, just to reappoint Deb Heatherly to the TDA board. So moved. Second. Okay. Moving on to funding evaluation committee. Deb's not here this evening. We didn't have anything to add. So going on to unfinished business, we'll do the grant request for advertising in the dashboard and settlement. And would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Andy G. I publish a marketing tool down in Charlotte called Dashboard and Saddleback Magazine.
Bill have low discretionary income. Uh, the main demographic in that area and of our magazine is basically the vast majority of the 35 plus crowd. Uh, so we're looking at the near empty nesters, the empty nesters, the, the folks that are looking for things to go out and do and, and do something close to home. The, all of the destinations in the magazine are within 200 mile circle. Uh, and the focus of this magazine, I've been doing it since April of last year, has been able to stay very tight and true. We do a calendar up front that does about 45 days out, and then a couple of destination stories. Um, so when people grab the dashboards and Saddleback magazine, they're picking it up because they know they are going to find destination ideas in there that are close to home. They can make it a day trip, or a very easy overnighter so that they don't need to recover from their vacation. And that's why I'm keeping everything within pretty much a 200 mile circle of Lake Norman. Um, how, how we kind of built it to benefit associations like yours is with the advertising, since it is a destination magazine, with advertising you do not just get an ad at a very, very, very inexpensive rate per thousand. You also have the opportunity to submit editorial in the magazine every month. So what I was thinking is this would be like an extension of your billboards. Uh, you could purchase the ad space and rotate on whatever you'd like to emphasize throughout the year. For the area. You could festival or the line or any festival or just bringing people to the downtown area. Um, the, the story content on there is the uh, guerrilla marketing um, editorials where basically we want to make it a fun story for the people to read and put some wonderful pop photos in there and just a little guerrilla marketing. Um, read about the Franklin area and not realize that they're being hit with another ad. Um, it's been working out very well. We're, we're growing very slowly with it. Um, uh, it's, it's been going well. We've been working with some other areas, and once they've got on board with us, they, they've stayed in. I gave you some, some fun little papers there to talk about our, our demographics. Um, basically, we really are going for the, the 45 plus crowd. The, the main income for our area is is pretty much the 100k plus um, homeowners. Um, and our distribution area is as you mentioned around around Lake Norman. We just, we're just beginning in October, 300 additional distribution points, and we're also in the same spot of Charlotte, from the uptown area down to Valentine and Matthews, which is the the very nice and old area of Charlotte. I'm very happy to be down in that area. What kind of places is it? It's strongly at the, where the spas, the nice restaurants, the wine bars, the cigar bars, the boat landings, um, the higher end grocery stores, the markets. Um, basically, the, we try to keep it in the some nice areas. Um, and it is geared towards uh, two wheel and four wheel. It's not, it's, we call it Rears Motor Tours. It doesn't matter whether they're on bike. Or in car. Uh, we distribute to the Harley dealers, we distribute to the BMW dealers, we're members of the uh, Corsa Rosa clubs, we do work with the Virginia, Virginia International <coughs> Raceway. So we really try to be just a destination guide for anybody who wants to go and just find something new to do. So on, on your website, is it reciprocal of whatever you do in the in the publication, you get the what do you get on the website? On the website, uh, you'll have a, a rotating banner on the front page uh, for basically uh, what your ad is, or if you'd like to create a separate piece of artwork for your rotating banner, that's included. Uh, we rotate out feature stories on our website and our newsletter of destination stories that are in the magazine, and we also have every edition that we've published since April of last year online in a searchable, downloadable PDF. What's the rotation on the on the banner ads? Uh, uh, three, three banners per spot, or three ads per spot, and we're getting a click through of uh, between two and three percent right now. And we have access to your event calendar, Most link definitely. backs, link backs to the tourism website. Exactly, and the account, if you're on the website, it's set up very nicely. It's not a big, bam, you know, flash power website. It's very simple because really the, the demographics that I'm going for, they are not predominantly looking on the computer all the time. Uh, most of them are still touchy feely tactile. They want to read something, and when they go to the web, they want to do it quickly. We have our destination calendar online, which 
is all Google driven, so it can be used on your desktop, laptop, PDA, works really well even on a smartphone. You can open it up to the page, scroll down, find a destination or event or festival you'd like to go to. You hit that, brings up the description, brings up a link to the website for that event, and it also gives you a map to the event that launches you into Google Maps. Um, so it's, it's just very simple. Um, our photo page is just uh, every, pretty much the events that we go to, we, we take a bunch of pictures, we put them online, people love to see their faces. Uh, we've got a, a page or two every month dedicated, just happy smiling faces in the magazine. Uh, people love to grab the magazine just to see if they're in there, if their friends are in there. That's another one of the little catches the magazine. It seems to be working very well. And that's the pictures. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very small, dedicated magazine, but it really is a very, very cost-effective marketing tool when you look at the rates. Um, one of the reasons is I come from a big publishing background, and I grew up with my father has been director of chamber of commerce and economic development all my life, and uh, that's what I grew up in. What's the number of publications that you do each issue? We're, right now, we've got over 36,000 readers. thing was um, I believe here the commitments we still had a ten thousand dollar commitment out that hasn't mm -hmm. that I wasn't I mean I'm just speaking personally here 
um, for them. Right. Correct. Which they've already paid. We okay. just haven't paid them. No, I didn't. I don't. I didn't have that information. So. But that was in the past. It's the ten thousand that we ran in fire. And that was a concern for me. Is a lot of this was still up in the air, and like I said, we haven't seen anything um, much of anything on the matter, on, on budget, our overall budget and available. And that was my concern. Monies. Is if it, if one was tabled, they should all be tabled until we had. Right. So I think it would be. So that's up to the board to decide. If you want to table them all to our retreat, we can do that. Or so they can October 8th. Well, I mean, we heard from Nikki, so what we need to do is, is really decide. Um, opportunity in the future I don't I know last time it kind of worked out, it worked out really really well and I want to say this um, I actually went to the Kelly Pickler concert and it worked really well with coinciding with the, the rumble um, Scotty actually asked the audience how many people before the show even started how many people raise your hand if you're from out of town and I, I'm serious my mouth dropped I was one of maybe four who was not out of town that attended that concert um, it's an excellent opportunity. I think it paired well with an event that we had sponsored. Um, but again, that's for the board discussion. I don't know if it's something we want to do right this second. Maybe in the future, definitely want to do something. Um, I don't know how you guys feel. Like you said, they were mostly from out of town. Mm -hmm. But it's really good when you can link with the TDA and Mike, you can chime in if you really felt a bit more. It's really good when you can link it to another event. <laughs> another event that we're sponsoring. This, versus just a month. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this, that's, that's the optimum. If, yeah. if there's something else that brings people here for more than just one night. But even, even in our case, we've got small in and, you know, we're full with 15. And I can't think of the guy, uh, something Daniels, but not. Charlie Daniels. No. Oh, not. not who's, who's the guy playing the 50s? Don Williams. Oh, Don Williams. For this Don weekend? Williams. Yeah, yeah. This weekend. country, you know, yeah. country singer. And we're, and we're full. So, and we have been for almost two weeks now, so for that, that weekend day. So, you know, at least there's some, there's some money that goes to the TDA that's going to be generated out of that and I know they got to eat besides yeah, the breakfast we serve mm -hmm. so you know that's uh, 
that's uh, you spend money and then there's value the yeah there's value and the only thing with tying it to an event i mean it's great but when you already have an event you already sold out yeah. the hotels are full i mean we're going to bring this in here year round and over so. six um, even their their annual average is over 60 percent of it. i think it was 67 percent of the people who attend the concerts are from out of town and not just not just like Otto, but Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that considered out of town? Sorry. <laughs> well, somebody may use that kind of <laughs> that kind of leverage or try to leverage it that way, but yeah, it's it's from significant difference. And all the advertising that they do, just like yesterday, they <coughs> and Shores, I'm seeing the signs and all of it. It's got the program advertised. It's also about Franklin, North Carolina advertised too, which you wouldn't have otherwise. And I know Nikki at one time, chime in if, you, if you'd like, you said you guys are grateful for anything. I mean, we are. We're yeah, grateful I mean, for just, anything. Yeah. I mean, we're asking for 10000 Just and, the, and it'll be an ongoing thing with us asking, you know, like you said, for future yeah. events and whatever. It is ongoing because we, you know, every weekend we've had two concerts a weekend and just there are, I, just to give you all the figures, um, for Charlie Daniels, it was 82% of the audience was from out of town and 69% for Kelly McClure. So just wanted to let you all know that. Um, but we are, we're grateful for anything. Um, it, it is a fantastic way to bring in, we feel a lot of tourists in this area and, and we can't emphasize that enough. And it's, you know, I know y'all aren't in it for your name to be on all our stuff, but it's a great way to let, you know, I think people know that you guys support What's going on here in our community? Okay. What shows was it? Was it? Is it going to cover for this yeah. funding? Would you guys like a just a booklet real quick? Yeah. But just rattle them off. I mean, I um, it's we open up November with um, Chubby Checker, um, and then we go to Low the Low Family, which they cover everything from bluegrass to Broadway. They're an extremely talented um, family. Go to um, the Overlook Theater Company is doing your good man Charlie Brown um, when we, I think it's mid November, um, and then we have Sandy Patty who's coming in um, towards the end Thanksgiving weekend, which you know hopefully we're hoping that will bring in a lot of out of towners just with Sandy Patty and being Thanksgiving weekend um, as well, and then we end with I think the Hoppers. Cool. For that. So, so there's great there's great potential there. Some really good tourists to come in. That's good to hear that feedback from you, especially. I mean, yeah, I'm, you're directly seeing it. Yeah. I mean, I oh, support it, but it's going to be an ongoing. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Just throughout the year, just throughout the year at certain times, yes. But they're willing to come every month. We are willing to come. And with us, the way it works, because like our booklets, the next one will go out in November, so you guys will be included on all these events that aren't posted right now. But we, you know, we have to get the advertising out three months in advance, so that's why we come presenting three months early. So for whatever month we're asking or whatever events tied in, we're going to come at least two to three months early because we want to make sure you guys are included on everything and that you're getting your fair deal of it. And give us an update on the distribution for your... Um, gosh, well, our booklets are sent out to um, over 30,000 people. We sent email blasts to probably, I don't know what the number is, 40, 50,000 people when these events come up. Table tent cards are sitting all over, not only Franklin, but in northern Georgia, they're delivered there. Flyers are sent out to as far as Asheville um, <coughs> being posted up. Newspaper articles, television. We're getting ready to put our <coughs> November um, television commercials up in the next week or two. So that's another reason why we wanted to go ahead and let you guys know. And we appreciate you letting, you know, making a decision this month because it will affect newspapers, television, um, And most of that is from outside this area. It's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the main things that you're going to get inside, outside of the booklets, are the table tent cards that are sitting in all of our local restaurants and the flyers that we put up in this area. But it goes and extends, you know, outside of Macon County. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
A lady, a couple that was sitting beside me at the performance of Kelly Pickler, I was chatting with them and they were of all places from Boca Raton, Florida. Mm -hmm. And they had got, just picked up one of the flyers that had come to oh, a, that's great. A, a booklet down there. Yeah. And come oh, all the way just to visit the town yeah. and see the show. Yeah, it's and even with word of mouth, a lot of people now, and um, I, I do group sell there as well, so I'm taking a lot of the groups. But, um, you know, you'll be amazed, like somebody will say, well, I was just visiting Franklin, and then all of a sudden they go back to their church, or they go back to, like, their business and say, let's get a tour group, and let's go up to Franklin. We're getting a lot of those starting, the snowball effect with the trickling of that, or the word of mouth is really helping us out quite a bit, too, just bringing up groups in general, so. So do we have a motion? Um, I'll make a motion. Um, I, I'm definitely all for supporting them. Um, but I'm thinking that instead of the full 10,000, sorry, but that maybe we cut it down to half, five. Um, we've got a lot of people that evidently come and, and want uh, the grant request. You know, you, so for example, this is just an example, like the downtown business people are here. Well, <clears throat> I'm all for supporting on the arts and but then I, there's a lot of other people out here that would be coming to us in the future. So I would make a motion that we do support them, but not for the 10000 that they're asking for half of that, is down to 5000 Second. Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Thank you. Great. Okay, moving down to the grant request for downtown businesses. That was tabled as well. Thank you. But it was tabled for this meeting, so we don't need to okay. take any action. On it. That's why I read the minutes, right? There was a motion which was tabled to this yeah. meeting. Was it tabled was because they were it was finding out on Yeah, they, it was tabled for two reasons: um, for insurance and for the entity. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Do we have any? We, I, we haven't seen anything as far as I know. Can I speak? Yes. <laughs> I'm Lori Holbrook. I'm with Amanda Hernandez. We're representing the downtown merchants. And um, since the last meeting, we've had some changes to the agenda. Um, we've got the Sunday night meeting back to the regular schedule. Um, and we have a lot of meetings that we're going to do. We're going to do the Sunday night meeting of Franklin, which was, is already a nonprofit. So that is in place. Um, we also have worked closely with John Henney and Wyatt Insurance. Um, and you should have received your copy um, letting you know that the insurance is in place for the next two events, street test. Um, working to make that a downtown you know, um, block party event, uh, which happens once a month to bring the tourists in and people to come downtown. Have a great time and go back home and share it with their family and friends that uh, Franklin's a great place to visit, as we've already heard. So, um, last month we added a couple more things to the event. We added our kids' events. Uh, the Read to Me program was there. Um, we had a clown from the factory um, and some other activities. And um, this month we're planning on um, adding Stewart Street events. April's Flowers on Main is celebrating her first year, so we'll help her celebrate. Uh, there's new owners at the attic. Um, we're you know, welcoming them in, as well as George and Heidi at Rat Scaler. So, um, you know, we're making it better every time. So we're still, you know, asking for some funds to help us promote that. Well, where are you at with your entity or organization? That's a good place. It's bad. Oh. Bad. Uh, it never was closed down. It's still streets. But the the, the, street, the streets in. board met? met. Mm -hmm. We met and um, uh, have new officers. Who's, who's we? Who's we? The downtown folks met. And uh, I'm president, Amanda's vice president. Um, Suzanne from the bookstore is our treasurer. And Cheryl Pulliam is our secretary. Uh, how does that figure with the old streets board? Because if that organization dissolved, there's only one way, one place that checkbook can go is to another 501c3. 
It wasn't dissolved. It wasn't dissolved. Okay, then that board, that the, the original streets board Still. met and conducted a meeting where the officers were then changed. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have your minutes? Is there are there minutes of that? Um, I don't Exactly. Um, I can get this for you. But we elected officers, and that was pretty much it, just to get us back. Do you have anything from the state yet stating that you are indeed the new organization? Um, well, you, you, it's not you, wouldn't, one. you wouldn't get, we would get a new one, but some of it should be on the officers, But there's, there's got to be some kind of reporting that okay. it should really be goes on that it's still active. If it was never it's still stopped. online that it's still active. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they have a checking account that was still. Um, you should be able to go online. It was never through your state. But the website. Okay. Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't. No, they just decided not to meet. They didn't dissolve. But doesn't the streets board still have to? The streets board has still to has to meet. And they've meet. met all the office. Okay. Yeah, if they met and there's a new election, then that's. That's it. That what suffice. members from the street committee were there? Um, let's see, Heidi and George from the Rathskeller, um, Ellen and Jeannie Primrose. Are they members of the old streets board? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not the organization, but the elected board. Was all, the elected all good board. there from? You're talking about He's your treasurer. Excuse me. What are you? I'm sorry, I'm not following what you're asking. I'm talking about the elected officers of the original board. Street board. Were they present? Um, like June Hernandez? Yes. Like she was on there. She was the president, yeah. I think, at the time this happened. Yeah. And Bob had resigned. Bob had resigned as president. What's the name of the board? What, what is street the street? official name? Streets? Streets of Franklin, I believe that was the original name of the board. Yeah, and because of concerns raised by Mr. Henning, we need a copy of the insurance policy. We need to see the, the, the TDA and the, the town around that policy. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd like we to also see need this. We also need to see the minutes for that change before. Okay, well, I have because the there's some leak. There's some very serious. I received a copy already. Somebody. I'll yeah. make a little week. note um, at the TDC meeting last month, and, and Mike was there as well. The TDC voted to deny their request because of, they weren't a full entity at this time because they had concerns just of the legality of it. And I'll be honest, I still have concerns. Part of the part of the issue was too that they had stated that that they were not they were not coming asking us for money only in the event that TDA did not fund TDA them. did not fund them. Mm -hmm. um, so the TDC membership at that point said, well, if, if that's it, then, then we'll we'll take the pass. But um, the the issues that were brought up by John are still, in my mind, unresolved because we haven't seen that documentation. And those, the two issues, and that's what the minutes reflect, was the organization and the insurance. I believe she has documentation. I have the insurance policy. Insurance. We just okay. didn't get it evidently. Um, and you all are named, I believe, on here. Okay, so John yeah. and Annie. There's still right. the entity right. portion of it. That's concerning. Yeah, because those Where's were the that that reason that they were taken. So the, the original organization was Streets of Franklin, which they evidently didn't have, they didn't dissolve, so it was still sitting there, but they had a board, but they had a board, elected board, they just didn't hold any meetings, and <coughs> so now yeah, that board got together, is that what you're saying, that Streets of Franklin board got together, those elected officials, or elected board, board members? members. Of the, the original streets of Franklin. We did, I don't know who was on the old board, other than Jim. Okay, so when you said the board, it'll it'll it was a board meeting. Be on there. But the, the issue, the issue there is that somebody just can't come along and take over. So there's can't well, some legal issue. Yeah. Can you find it now? And you just can't jump. Nobody can just jump into their 501c30 status. 
without being passed on, am I correct? Right, that's the no, you wouldn't have to no, leave them. You just need, you just need the, the or transfer them to the county. Or not to have elections at the county general board members. The proof of the board. The old board has the board approved it. Right. The old board approved it. The, 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 the Streets of Franklin board, which is not them at this right. time. They From the way I understand it. But the Streets of Franklin board has to have a meeting and then elect everybody elect new officers and they're now the new officers of the Streets of Franklin. But we're changing the name and everything, correct? It's So when you come with your request, should it should it not be Streets of Franklin and City Downtown? Streets of Franklin. Streets of Franklin. Because that was already in place. Because that's enough. Yeah. But the question is, I guess, when you met. The streets of Franklin. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anybody from the old Streets of Franklin, streets any of Franklin board members from the original, or not original, but from the Streets of Franklin? It's not you guys at the moment. Not you trying to revive it, but anybody from well, before. He could be in trouble with the state. At the meeting. Right there. You can go back and file. I mean, that's, you can file them retroactively. But, yeah. I wonder where the last one is. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. You physically can't because if the organization is considered to the money's got to go to the front. You don't have a choice. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to have to have a certain documentation before we can go further. It still shows the active on the website for family file manual reports in a while. So. And unless there's a, unless there's an election that meets their bylaws, mm -hmm. they're in their, their 501c3 documentation. Mm -hmm. People just can't walk in the door and say we're now in charge of this. There's a and this yeah. There's a lot of legality involved. <coughs> so do we have a motion to table it? I would actually make. Go ahead. Uh, say something, please. Okay. If we can get it either approved or denied, and will uh, and then not a check be written, and all this, uh, I'll contact all the old um, original officers, and we'll have a meeting before a check is written to us. Well, we don't Just, know who to write the check. I mean. We can't do anything until all that's in place okay. as a board. So right, I'm, make that happen I'm willing to make the motion at this time to deny the request based on the legality that could come from it. Um, well, how about we make a motion to postpone it to the next meeting and see if they, of course, the next meeting is a month away. That's right. Yeah. Well, and I think before they come back to the board, Martha, if y'all could get together with John Hanning, Think, don't you think you all think that'd be a good well, idea? So the one conflict yeah. is our attorney. Is he TDA. The attorney yeah, for the town. Yeah. He's the attorney for the town, but he's not. So that's a big conflict. But he can't do their work. He can't do their work. No, I'm not talking about him doing the work. Submit the minutes to him. Give him the minutes and the insurance information. Or give them to one of us and show us. Let him look at it and make sure of it. But now there's a concern. Because he's yes, so there. I'm not sure. I don't. I've, I see the insurance portion of it, but my concern is legality. That's. He's not, he wouldn't be advising. He'd just be a, then he'd be advising us that. on whether we fund them or not. If you based on. Awesome. If he's attorney for them. He's attorney for them. He can't, he can't advise us. Mm -hmm. He can't advise both parties. Oh, it's a conflict yes. of interest. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the truth. So John Heenan is attorney for Streets of Franklin? No, so nothing to do with John Heenan. No, not for Streets of Franklin. Oh, the town. Officers. But, yeah, the town, oh. but that was somebody's. Was that not? Hmm. That's what the attorney was doing. Martha, I'm sorry. What? Was he not the attorney that y'all are working with as well? But you said you worked with Just the insurance. Just for the insurance. Because yeah. he recommended. He oversaw the insurance. He's the one that said we need insurance. We need to make sure that okay, we are covered. That the TV. He's covered. That's why he asked them for insurance to work with whoever to make sure that everything. Because if they're holding any event here on the property, the town property, um, we don't want to be liable if someone gets hurt. So he's told them that they need to show us insurance. 
withdrawn and she's not with it. He's asking them for information. Oh, which obviously she's got. So then we move the motion. Do you want to um, hold your motion? I'll hold my motion. I don't know what was that motion. What was your motion? Her, no, her motion was to deny. I was going to postpone. For simple legality of it at this time. Yeah, that's my motion. Street that's good. as far as street goes, as far as the government yeah. motions and everything, our citizens. Um, yeah, I know really. I've got a guess. Well, I believe, yeah, I'm not. That is, shows, I mean, it's a lot of people coming around town. Right. Too, but still, we can't there's just that's the only, and I think it's a great festival. Um, I mean, the work that goes into of, it, but it's my, all I was going to say is just can we postpone it until they can get their information. Well, they're or, welcome to come back at any time. Yeah, they right? can come back. You said Once you're going to try and make this a monthly. Yeah, yes. made a motion, so. That's well, she made a motion to deny. I was going to make a motion just to post. I would make a motion to postpone it. So postpone it to. We can table it till table till the meeting on October eighth, which will be on the retreat meeting. And then hopefully they can call us for that. Because I think they need to they need to check with an attorney to see what the proper method of so um, well, taking over that. Sorry, is. The retreat is basically to go over procedures and policies to get everything in with all new board members. It's not a place to be doing grants. I mean, that was what the retreat was for. Mm -hmm. So it would be the November meeting before it would be able to be able to well, um, On the retreat day, Matt, was that the date you couldn't make it? Or Correct. Because he had requested a different retreat date because he's not going to yeah, be there. That's, that's yeah. Yeah. already a regular meeting. meeting. That was a regular meeting. Yeah. Right. Well, we made a motion to retreat on October 8th, which is a regular scheduled date. At our October 8th, then we could decide that we need to change the dates to fit the board. But that would have to be at our retreat. So then where, what's the motion right now? The motion on the floor is to deny. Well, it's for the really simple legality well, at this time. It hasn't been mm -hmm. second. Mm -hmm. That's the second. Two seconds. Okay. I'm sorry. Second. Just into the legal stuff. Yeah. Legal stuff. Still the legal stuff. stuff. Okay. And the legal stuff meaning okay. let's make sure yeah. that they are properly. Can who are we writing the check to? I can second. Yes. I can vote. Okay. She's a voting member. Yeah. Okay. So just so I have this clear of what you are asking of us, mm -hmm. we need to have, provide you with something that shows that the old officers transferred The old to officers us. have to meet. Mm -hmm. And elect the old officers and members meet and vote for new officers. Right. Okay. And what's the other thing other than that? Yeah, because you can't. You can't just have an outside organization. Well, let's at least provide them a checklist of things to, to go over. And that's what we're trying to do. So we can now. expedite this. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. They have to make sure that the, the action that they took was in accordance with the bylaws of the organization that they're attempting to take over. Mm -hmm. If they're not, you're dead in the walk because you can't take over. Somebody from the outside just can't come in and take over the group. Even though we're members, we're all members of that. Yeah, not without okay. guns. Because <laughs> uh, you did have an elected board, and that board is still an elected. Board. elected. Mm -hmm. that, there hasn't well, been anything to meeting. change They're them. Elected. That board okay. has to have a meeting. Okay. So and three at things. that point, if, three if they take the election, then that's, that's fine. That's the end of it. Then you can come back with a grant request. Those three things are the three things we need to provide you with. Okay. And that's what that's the motion. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Any abstentions? Okay. Any abstentions? Okay. Moving on to new business. There's a bill billboard request for the gun show on the event. Up here on the high top copper. <coughs> and this winter, November, um, to have another one in February. <coughs> and it'll be the first weekend in February. What I would like to ask you this time uh, is for both of them 
and you don't have to draft these checkbooks or your wallet or anything because you don't need any money. What he's asking for is if the TDA has some open billboards, is it possible for him to use these billboards to put up an advertisement in which he will pay for the advertisement paper to be printed uh, and pay to Allison's if there's a charge uh, for them to install it. And so I guess what I'm asking also is whatever boards that you have available that are not used for something else. So if you have one or five or two or three or whatever, if they're going to be just open boards hanging there, is if he could use these to advertise the gun show. Would you give us that date? Yeah, what were the dates? November 10th and 11th. And it'll be the first weekend of February. And I didn't write down what it was <laughs> on the date. But uh, on this, I would like to say too, this coming February, three years ago, that we had the first gun show here. And other than the one that we had in June, has been extremely successful, bringing a lot of people. This is not something that brings overnight, I guess, but for the surrounding counties, it's bringing a lot of tourists in here also. And there are lots of them that's shopping in the shopping centers, eating at the broker, eating uh, in the restaurants, buying gas in the stations, and spending a few dollars here and there. So if you consider the use of these things, I would appreciate it. Any questions? First weekend in February 2013 is Friday's the first and Saturday's the second. So that's the weekend you're talking about. So it's February 1st and 2nd. Okay. And so I'm, I'm assuming also that he's asking if you have like a month or so open before these dates is what he's asking for. Mm -hmm.
marketing is working on this with us. It's not just for the Main Street program, it's for the town of Franklin. It's a shopping dining. But I'm not asking for any money. Um, <laughs> for a change. Asking, I'm asking to partner with the with the shop finding for his website and I am asking for two people. I've got to ask for this change. One question. This is this is a, a program that should probably run year round. Yes, and we are using NC Step funds. Um, we're, we're getting to the end of our NC Step grant, so this this is some marketing for NC Step. Okay. And my my thinking is if we haven't have we done anything with the two permanent billboards that we have as far as spicing them up better? Yeah, we put new posters on about three months ago. Like new, they, new vinyl and they, new design. And Did the copy design. change? New mm -hmm. design. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I was thinking that, that would be a prime candidate for that, for the R2. For the next time that we can change them. Okay. But if you're going to shop locally, you wouldn't want to do that out of town where those boards are. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the shop locally, I think locals that are here. Well, that's what we're yeah, shopping down here. Yeah. Yeah. She wants her boards local instead of out of town. Because it would be. Yeah. That makes sense. And you're asking for two? I'm asking for two. I'm also asking to partner on the website to put some of this marketing on the um, shopping dining portion of Shopper. Is there any questions? I have a question. Asking for two billboards when? Is it like a certain yes. month? Or? We're looking at those. Yes, we're looking at them. So again, in November, how many are available total? Total of three available in November. We got the two Winter Wonderland boards that are booked, and the posters already printed. So that leaves three. And she's asking for two, and we just had a request for whatever we breaks down uh, what you have as far as uh, uh, cost involved in the Comcast Atlanta advertising campaign uh, that we have going on. Summer and I had a discrepancy in our numbers and we're going to look into that but basically when you see your sheet uh, you'll see the amount of uh, advertising that's been spent to Comcast, uh, the amount that's been uh, paid in production to Michael Rogers. Uh, we, uh, I've helped Michael do a lot of filming on this. We filmed two productions at the Smoky Mountain Center. Uh, we have uh, basically filmed all over downtown. Uh, been several of the shops to do some filming. Uh, and uh, so the production uh, value of it, I think, is, has really uh, improved this year. And uh, you will see that we'll have around $18,000 left of the 50. Always try to be a good steward of money that is uh, allocated for me to watch out after and uh, we should come in under budget on this depending on where you end the campaign. The campaign can be ended at any time. Uh, we're not locked in to staying through to the end of the year but uh, you know if you want to end it at the, uh, after Pumpkin Fest in October or if you decide you want to hold it over and uh, continue your campaign uh, to promote Winter Wonderland you can do that for a few weeks as well after Pumpkin Fest. So. No, that's that's your call, but that's an option that you have, and I think that you'll have uh, think that you'll have money left for that. Any questions on Comcast? I'll be as brief as I can. I know you're very busy tonight. What kind of feedback? Anyone can hear me? The uh, in 2011, when we launched the website, we had an annual total of uh, 12,700 and change in visitors. 
Well, to date, so far, this year, we have uh, 28,662 people, which is really good. Right. We've gone above the uh, fold line on the front page. We've worked on the SEO to get you on the front page above the fold line on web searches, which is uh, always uh, really good. And if you look at your Atlanta visits, uh, 2,618 of those uh, 28,000 people, about 9.1% of those are from the Atlanta market, which is really good. Yeah. And then if you look at the top cities where you've received requests from, uh, I was wanting to jump in when you were speaking because Charlotte was second. Uh, but I think a lot of that too is attributable to Pumpkin Fest last year uh, because uh, Pumpkin Fest, I recommended Linda buy a banner in Charlotte. It was a very affordable way. Uh, let me put it to you this way, and this is not knocking any of the local newspapers at, uh, whatsoever. But a column inch here is 10 to 14 or 15 dollars. In Charlotte, it's 425 dollars a column inch. So an ad that would cost you two, three hundred dollars here is about four or five thousand dollars of the Charlotte paper. But we found a way to get a banner on their website that was based on impressions, and it was either 50 to 75 thousand impressions. That is, a banner will pop up in front of 50 to 75 thousand people, and with a click through and it was just a few hundred dollars. So it was a very affordable way for us to get in the Charlotte market on that. Uh, so I attribute some of the Charlotte traffic to that, people becoming familiar with Franklin uh, down there. But you also see we're getting some folks from Asheville. Nashville, it's a strange mix. New York City of all places. <laughs> New York City. Uh, Raleigh, Greenville, Orlando, Jacksonville, and Knoxville. So uh, really, if you look at our <laughs> analytics map, the concentration is in uh, the Carolinas, Georgia, and Tennessee. But you did have a total of, if you look, uh, did I put that little factoid on there? I did. If you look at your analytics, you had people from 2,955 different towns and cities that look at the website. So that's pretty darn good. So the site's growing, the site's doing well. I think your Atlanta money is money well spent. Uh, considering you've got 9% when we're all happy with 2 or 3% return on a lot of campaigns. So I think that's I think that's turned out very good. And Mike, I have an answer to your billboard question. You asked me last meeting about the poster line. Mm -hmm. Two posters will last you approximately 90 days, but they do not guarantee that. One poster will not last 90 days. Mm -hmm. So two posters will last you approximately 90 days. Depending on the color, you know, we ran into trouble with the rumble poster because of the black uh, due to the amount of heat and the contraction on those metal boards or metal boards where they put those posters. It ripped the poster some. We had a couple of repair orders where they come in and fix those posters, but in two or three days they would be loose again. So it was kind of a losing battle uh, just because of the excessive heat that we had during the time when that, that particular poster was up. All right, any questions? I'll get out of your hair. Thank you, Dr. Here, well, one, one comment on that. Well, the, the, uh, when we started this, for, for some of the newer, newer numbers, when we started this, um, they were talking about roughly five counties around Atlanta when we first started this. We now go uh, 90 miles east and west. We go all the way to, to the Alabama border yes. on the east side and west 90 miles uh, out, of, out of Atlanta, uh, south about 120, and to the North Carolina border. And that's Comcast, I, I guess they bought another couple of cable companies out there. They did. And they vastly expanded their area. But uh, you know, that's and it's an oddity, but uh, about 70% of our guests um, are still from within 30 miles of Atlanta. And if you counted all the teeny towns that are in the coverage area, that Atlanta number would go up. I just took the like top 10 or 15 towns and added those together. There's more of them that you can dig out and make that number go substantially higher. Mm -hmm. uh, that should, you know, to me, it reinforces the fact that your campaign's working. It's good. So you're welcome. Thank you all. Next, we're going to have an update from Sylvia Cochran on the Smith Mountain. Bad backwards, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see some people in the audience. First off, I want to thank, and that's the enforcers. 
uh, I want y'all to stand up because y'all really went the distance and I do applaud you. Thank you. And all his crew, they did a wonderful job. I also want to thank some other people. Um, Candy, Drake Software, I appreciate uh, you getting the stage out there. Thank you so very much. I thank all the um, markets that participated in the treasure hunt. I think that it was a good success bringing people down. People enjoyed it. Um, I thank Bonnie for helping um, the Appalachian Angels. And um, there's many, many people I, I need to thank. Uh, um, Sheriff Robbie Holland, he and Lieutenant Brian Lecker, they were very instrumental in helping us out there. Um, Gary Owens across the street was wonderful. Um, so we just had a lot of people involved helping, So and I do appreciate it. I do have a couple of questions. The invoices I turned in, are they okay? I do want to mention, read something, getting on here. Um, from the Making News. On August 22nd, 2012, for Franklin Mayor Joe Collins, the takeaway from the rumble, and I'm sorry, I'm reading from the phone. From the weekend Smoky Mountain Rumble, is that the riders who attend the, are people we want to invite to our town. Their bad at the dude image of days past is no longer true, Collins said. We should look for ways to improve on the event, look for ways for it to grow, he said. Um, Franklin. Police Chief David Adams agreed with the assessment, the mayor's assessment. Also, uh, from Sheriff Robbie Holland, he stated on August 23rd, although the rumble has been a subject of contention for locals over concerns of accidents and discreet behavior, no incidents of any kind were reported according to Macon County Sheriff Robert Hall, who strictly spoke for his agency. We did not make any arrests of those attending and in fact had zero problems with anyone with the rally. So that being said, I think that's Highlights, I want to, Miss Landa, thank you. I could not have done it. She has listened to me. She helped me. I mean, she is a I do appreciate you. Um, I do want to mention a couple, of, a couple of other things. Of course, uh, Miss Joyce, uh, seeing her son, who said he was back from Iraq, uh, smiled from, from ear to ear when his mama got on that motorcycle and rode. <laughs> was was it worth the whole, everything I went through. <laughs> Besides that, when I had, there was uh, about three children, um, eight, nine, ten years old, from your area, one of them's name I recall is Brianna, came up to me on, on Saturday night and hugged me and told me, thank you for bringing me this. Um, I'm going to um, pass a proposal to the TDA that is can will bring back in in the, um, after you get to read it and see what we propose. Uh, we hope that we can bring it back, but of course, the main thing that we need a location better than where we were because the gravel would not. Um, it's not a, a factor that bikers are. And some of the other facts I want to bring out, we had people from Canada. 
We had people from um, New York and Texas and Wyoming. One, they rode 36 hours, and they will come back. Uh, they've already sent, said they will come back. Um, they hope that Franklin uh, TDA will pull together and we all be able to bring it back. They did say that if there's any way possible to take it downtown, that would be wonderful. So, um, let's see if I've forgotten anything that I want to say. Oh, I did check on uh, hotels and motels in the area. Um, both our weekend and the following weekend uh, from that. On our weekend, most every hotel I checked was at 100%. Uh, I talked to Comfort and I talked to Hampton um, for the following weekend. They were in the neighborhood of 45 to 55% the following weekend. Um, the, the different hotels I talked to said, please bring it back to Franklin because it surely helped your numbers for heads and beds. That was the goal, to fill the town. I feel like we've achieved it. I appreciate Bo and all of them at Smoky Mountain Performing Arts Theater. We worked with them, and I think that was a good fit. Um, Charlie Daniels being, people loved it, and um, I think that, I hope that uh, even though we went through the learning and cutting our teeth this past year, that we can bring it back and make it even better. Any questions? Thank you so much. Okay. I'll give this to you and y'all can look at it. How many do you have in the Do you have a, a rough idea? I don't know. Because I don't take a gate. It was free to everybody. Um, oh, Tommy. I, I'm trying to remember everybody. Thank you for all you did, Matt, um, what you did. I appreciate it. And these wonderful ladies of your downtown, they're just wonderful. Thank and why she's passing it down, we still have the remainder balance for the rumble, our 5640 do we have a second? A motion of the remainder for the rumble. For the rumble. Oh, yeah. I'll second. Sure. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? One of the things that I mentioned on here is the insurance. At the point when we were at the last meeting, when we were back and forth with all the changes, the original was uh, 784, 70. but with all the changes that we had to go back and forth, back and forth with, um, I gave you, I sent like you, and it, it ended up being $1,753, and that was, um, you got the from the uh, insurance, and that was, you know, getting all your I's and T's and whatever crossed and dotted for what, you needed for here so it wasn't something I wanted but that's I mean that was what had to be done. Well I do know that her motion was to approve half of the insurance yes. amount of the 784 yes. that's what we on. which yes. come out of the budget for this remainder <coughs> amount that was owed. That was the motion that was made. That we take care of half the insurance. The, the, the insurance of 784 that was presented by that's what we've done in the meeting. That's what we've Did you like the report? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. And um, thank you, Sylvia. Thanks, Sylvia. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to an update from Ron Smith on the Ruby Bash that we approved the work for. Ron? Yeah, I want to start with uh, saying thank you for uh, the help. Just want to say thank you for the help that y'all did in the advertising and the uh, billboards and everything that y'all did. I, I truly appreciate it. Uh, 
we, we had our stumbles here and there and stuff like that. Um, Saturday night ended up being very successful. Um, our numbers basically were, ended up being 250, but um, which is half of what we had last year, the year before that, the year before that. Um, I feel that um, there, there was a, and I'm still getting it today, of confusion of these two rallies being at the same time, being in the same month. Um, I came to and I talked to some people last year when all this came about and um, asked, you know, since I wasn't going to be a part of it, left out and stuff like that, that they needed to find a new part of the year. Uh, I'm saying that because I had no other option because this is something that we committed to. We've had at the same time every year. This is what we do for this county. This is for the county. Um, I was told after that meeting that it was going to be the second week of September, and basically I was lied to, and then it came out that it was the week before mine. I do know that it affected both rallies. There's no question. Um, they both got interfered with, and they thought, you don't do this. And uh, you don't do this with, with people in your area doing things, trying to do this, these rallies. Um, you got hell and destination that basically was going on at the same time. You, you wonder why it is that that was picked that weekend as far as trying to interfere with more, you know, as far as, you know, the, the distance and stuff like that and, and the things that, that promoters and event coordinators do. You know, I work, I've been working on this for five years. I put a year into this and in finding out dates and finding out everything I could so that I could come in and not interfere with nobody. I came into the county commissioners and I asked them what would be a direction to go in to make this calm for everybody. I was told I've never had no problem. There still isn't nothing bad said about me or my rally, our rally, because there's nothing bad that can be found. Um, you know, it's, it goes to the, this uh, Smoky Mountain Rome being the first rally, but it's not. Actually, the Pickle Patch rally was the first original. Okay? I've been doing this for four years. Mine's been a rally since day one. I'm doing things different than a lot of places. I put a lot of commitment into it. Okay, last year, I had reached a part of our rally and the negative phone calls coming in because of this opposition of this, which I never had before, they chose, it, it wasn't no good. Okay, so as it is now, I have to make secret donations so that I don't involve people so that they don't get the negative phone calls that, 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 that they get. I'm trying to, I have to protect, I'm trying to do something for this county and I have to protect the people that I donate to. That's a shame. It's a shame, you know? And, and, and it kind of, uh, it's something to where if this other rally plans on going a week before mine again, I need to know. It, it's something to where, you know, it, 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 it can't be. Okay, I take care of and I finance everything to do with mine. We've talked, we've asked and different things like that but I still carried on. I got affected this year. They got affected this year. I know. I watch all the different things that go on on the computer, on the websites, on the Facebook. I watch it all. Okay, and as far as good things, there is good things about both, and there is bad things about both. Plain and simple. The worst thing about it was is it being a week away from each other. Okay? Plain and simple. I don't know who is the one. I know who it is that lied to me. Okay? And I have confirmation from their superior on the conversation. Well, I know who, who lied to me. But I don't know who decided to choose the weekend before mine after, after I was told otherwise. I don't know who, who, who it was. It can only be a certain amount of people. That's what I don't know. It's personal. It, it's something where, okay, let's go jab them. So I'm, I'm, I just uh, basically, I, I don't plan on going through this battle no more. 
I refuse. I feel that I was taken from because as far as a rally goes, I have no problem with the other rally. Do it another part of the year. It's very simple, very okay. productive. I don't want to cut you off. I do. I did want to update from your rally. Your dates for next year are what? 30th and 31st. August. 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 Yep. A week okay. away. The same time every week. It's the last, last week. I just want to make sure that I have it down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the other group is proposing the fourth weekend in August. Okay. So, so that's that week of, yeah. I haven't had time that that day, so it's a still a week of the party. Yeah, I can't do this. Well, I think that's something as a, I mean, your rally, I heard good things. I mean, I'm not going to punish the board. I'm not going to punish myself. I think we've been punished enough, like you said, that you're having to reap the benefits from it. We all have. But this doesn't have to be that way, no. And I don't want to make this meeting into that. It's not. Okay. I just I feel I need to share. Yeah, we're some okay. Yeah. And we've got your dates, yeah. and I think that's something that we need to consider. And when we look at the if the proposal, it was hard on me. Yeah. And, and I didn't get the toys on my toy book around. Honey, I went on vacation the week of the bike rally just yeah. so I didn't have to deal with it anymore. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. There uh, you go. Last year I had a truckload of toys. Okay. This year it was no good. Yeah. And it, and it crushed me, you know what I'm saying? Because these toys go to these kids in Macon County. Uh, Macon County, it's Macon County, Macon County. And it's like, okay, if I'm going to battle this and upside down myself, I, I'm not going to do it. You know, I, I just will go on vacation and spend the money there. Right. And we're not asking you to do it at a certain time to change your dates or anything like that. I know there's minutes to show different things that changed without the year. I know we've been working on this for two years of, of promotion. Um, you were brought to a meeting as well. Um, this is just something that we'll look at in the future for. Yeah. for I just wanted to update the, yeah, new, we appreciate the new members because it's a large new board. I can appreciate how this board is running now because it was questionable there at times. And I discussed this with everybody in town and let it be clear. So I have to appreciate the way that this runs now. It's running very well. Well, you can see there's nothing hidden. Well. Our minutes are posted. Everything We're on the I, newspaper, and I'm thought. sure there's a blog that'll yeah. videotape everything of what we do. <laughs> but everything you know, I drive a red Jeep out there. I'm getting the tag number, but I No, it's just, you know, I, I want to be able to get along. I want yeah, to be able to we want that. Yeah. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having another rally. But I started. I think we should. You know, I, I've been here. I've been, been doing it. This is my fourth year. If you're working on it, or if you're having, when my numbers get cut in half because of confusion, I got problems with my business. This is a business that I brought together, and it has been and have lots of help. I have lots more help now, and Saturday night was a complete success, and that's why I'll consider doing it again. But I will not do it again with the other rally happening at the same time. No, it's not. It's not productive. No one. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Later. <coughs> Any items to move forward? I'll bring one up. Uh, just, um, we, need to, we need to look at a couple options on um, uh, help the downtown area. Uh, there was an option that was looked at a while back about Way, two way in the streets and that would that would take the traffic on 441 business and then all go down Main Street instead of um, and I think there's you know there's obviously much larger number of businesses on, on Main Street than on Palma in that area um, this was brought uh, this is brought up by somebody from Nantahala at the last <laughs> TDC meeting yeah. when you were there. And we agreed to talk about it at, the, at our next meeting and that might be something to take position on in the future. Um, My only concern is for the city limits. We focus on all of that. Yeah, I do not want to focus on one part. I think no, that we they, well, we're, what we're talking about is a, it's two basically Two and a half block area that, that uh, encompasses uh, Main Street. I mean, they 
right now the traffic that's coming up and taking business for 41 is going right on out to the bypass. Well, you should see Unless us trying to be stopping. in the Chamber of Commerce and tell people that one-way streets go on this way and then you got to go back around to yeah. the Main Street. It is difficult. Yeah. So, you know, there was a, there was a proposal that was looked at um, for a business enterprise that, um, of making that a two-way, reverting it back to two-way, make both streets two-way. The, the DOT indicated it wasn't going to be that difficult of a job to do. Uh, the, only, the only thing we lose would be the, uh, the um, turning north on Riverside. You'd have to, um, you'd just have to go past Lamplighter and make a U-turn go north on Riverside. That would be the only, the only significant change there. But um, other than that, it can, it can be accomplished very easily. Turn one stoplight around. When's their meeting on that? Our, the TDC's next meeting will be the 20th of September. And is there a proposed amount? Well, it's something that the town's going to have to do. We're not doing, you know, unless unless we decide to contribute to it. But uh, to help ease the burden on the town, but that's something that, that we did uh, we did talk about at the TDC, and I think, if, you know, the, the way it sounded, there was a lot of interest on their part to see that happen, which would only help the businesses downtown. So, any of the board members that? I mean, I, I don't that know we can You know, by making both streets two way. And then that, the second option of that is, is that when we do have street closing for these events, we don't have to detour. <coughs> we don't have to detour around the hospital. Well, of course, some people home. think it is a two way, and I see them coming down there all oh, like off that <laughs> hill. That's. <laughs> But the, the, the thing is that, that uh, I mean, that's something then that, that would make the, the street closing even more palatable, you know, you know because of the events that are held down there on, on Main Street bring people to the stores also. So that's that would be, get an alternative to the detour that we currently have. Mark, is there, is there any information anywhere that's been? Oh, yeah, there's all. <coughs> is it on the town it's in my, No, it's in my office because there's a whole DOT even study that, and it's relatively cheap. Um, you know, it's turning the traffic light around at, at, uh, right. at uh, Porter Street and then um, the bike. The, the switch over would be made up where the hospital entrance is now. Where, gotcha. the, where you'd make that sweep to the hospital, mm -hmm. that would be the, the westbound Palmer Street mm -hmm. um, cut off. And then you yeah, just wouldn't have the U turn, you wouldn't have the full U turn because you wouldn't need it because you've got traffic going both directions. Right. So I think it would be great if as many of us as we can could be attending. Think meeting. about it. Yeah, think about it. If you want the, the TDA, the TDC meeting is a public meeting. That'll be at noon on the on the twentieth, twelve fifteen actually. And where is that located? And that's at the Chamber of Commerce in the basement. So we, you know, this will give you the chance to hear what they have to say because I, I don't, not the one that suggested it. I looked at it and studied it. And if, even if we have to do parallel parking, we're not losing parking because. If you if you go out there and you look, when you see two cars parked there, if you swivel the, the car parallel with the curb, you, you bumpers wouldn't touch anyway because the back bumper of the car here and the front bumper of the car there are, are there's a gap of space between them. And with I think Angela did a count, and there was only on the whole the whole length of Main Street. There, there's only one parking space that would be lost. And don't provide that information. But before we go any further, too, we. Any questions? Huh?
How much was that grant for school? <coughs> Wait, was it? Well, it's not a grant. Of There's different. It's, they're asking us to advertise. Oh, for advertising. There's different amounts. You get the 12 months, six months, or three months. That's right. That's and right. for, we can go from back cover, inside cover, two page, full page, half page. We got a lot of options here. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, a half page, half is half page. Mm -hmm. This will be, this will be quarter page. Obviously, full page. This would be I'd nice. like to look at it a little more. Yeah. So what's that in motion? All the discussion is what it is, can <laughs> <laughs> Moving towards the motion. Would you like to table this to November? Anyone's ever asked? Thank you. It's not okay. It's not okay. That doesn't cause any time. Oh, to oh no, I'm looking, I'm looking to the line. Because that's what we're just aiming to do, board retreats, so there'd be no bad. Okay. It'll be on a Tuesday, because I've already looked, because there's going to be a Tuesday. Sure, I'll well, make the question. Well, then, too, we'll have to say, we'll table to our November meeting, but I don't think we should give a date in case we do. there's a conflict with new board members, and we need to change the date. So before that much, it's made to say our November meeting. I make a motion to table dashboards and saddlebacks campaign proposal until our November meeting. Second. Okay. All in favor? Any more items for the Announcements? Okay, our next meeting is October 8th, and that will be our board retreat. Yes, sir. And that's still here. And that'll be here at 5 30. Um, consideration, no consideration. For and at our October meeting, then we could go because that's our normally scheduled meeting. Right. We need to make a motion and change the dates. We need to keep it consistent. Okay, we'll be here. We should be in there. Make the motion and adjourn. Thank you guys for coming. Sorry, I had to rush out. This will be a spellbinder. What do you mean, Francis?